All right, um, just a little update video and a um, a test of my new uh, phone that I got, a uh, S23 Ultra switched from the cheapest iPhone to the most expensive Samsung. Because um, I got, you know, a deal. You can get it for free if you get a certain plan and all that. So we're testing out the recording capabilities of the phone and sounds and colors and all that. Um, and what better way to do that except um, I needed subject material. So uh, at the shop, I've got my air compressor that I've been working on. So this is my original air compressor, the original tank. Um... There's the pump and motor. I believe that was a three horsepower motor. And I don't even know how many CFM that pump is, but it's an old speed air pump. A uh, little too, so, you know, you let those run like eight CFM. Oh, and the heat's kicking on. Perfect timing. But we've upgraded the compressor. Um, I, this was an experiment that I'm not going to do. It's a quiet intake box for the compressor. There's a bunch of furnace filters in it. I saw a commercially available one out of steel. I figured I'd just copy it, and my craftsmanship is not good enough. So eventually I'll make one out of metal, maybe, if I feel like it. But this is what we got. I found, so this is the 145 horse, like 18 CFM compressor um, off of, uh, or off from Harbor Freight. I was looking at some other ones, and it's like, I could get 20 CFM for like $700, and it's like, you know what? Those extra three CFM, this was $180. Is it really worth? I mean, it was like a quarter of the price. And it puts out 80% of the CFM, you know? So it's like, okay, so we'll just run this one. Something, something like that. I think it's like 15 CFM at 90 and 17 CFM or 18 CFM at 45. Something like that. So it's like... 75 to 80 percent the CFM at a quarter of the price and that's just what I wanted to do um, so I got that for $180 uh, this requires a five horsepower motor which is really expensive so I was looking at getting a new compressor for myself uh, to upgrade but then I found locally on Facebook someone was selling this motor um, we'll get to this in a second um, on the side it says horsepower special but if you look up that part number, it's a five horsepower motor. Um, and it runs off of my regular small plug. You don't need the big plug for it. Um, and so I picked that up. I paid 150 bucks for the motor, 180 for the pump. This pulley was $50. So we'll say 200 for this assembly right here. Got some belts. Tank I paid like 200 for. Uh, I had to build some brackets to extend the base, and it's super solid. There's no vibration in this at all. And then I had to change my pipe setting, uh, my pipe layout, so I can still have my valve. And if I was smart, I would just run the valve right off the tank and just run a copper pipe up to the dryer, the receiver dryers, and the regulator system. Um, but I didn't do that. I stuck with the black pipe. Um, and I wrote a little Harley Davidson V twin on it because it's why not? Um, it's still the same switch. Um, I got rid of the log because I figured, well, from using it, I don't really use it. At most, I need an extra air fitting, so we'll do that. And if I ever need to paint, uh, what I'll do is I'll just swap this 90 out for a T again, but I had to move the T over here. So I'll get another half inch pipe T, we'll just splice it off, and that way I can run, hook a dryer up to the side and do all that. It's just I don't want to run a big long hose if I ever paint. You want as much of it to be, you want, you want to run as little 3 eighths as possible when you paint, ideally just in your booth. When you, you want the biggest available piping so that you don't have the biggest big pressure drop and that way your paint lays out nice um, I have to replace this unloader valve it's a little light 
for the pressure. So we're gonna get a, a better one. And I'm thinking that's not because it's not rated high enough. I'm thinking it's because it's old. The only part on the original from the original speed air compressor now is this this head right in here. And that unloader valve. Uh, that, yeah, that's your safety valve. That's your unloader valve. I gotta replace that. Um, and I still am running the automatic tank drain, which is really good. I mean, you'll see this cord too. We'll get to that in a second. So I had all this set up and it's like, you know what? I keep getting water in these and it's like, if I can minimize the water in these, that means I'm gonna minimize the water in here, which for painting, you don't want water. For, I don't want water in anything. It's like, well, how am I gonna do that? So I went on Amazon and I found this little radiator uh, for $70. I originally, when this compressor comes, this angles straight down because the idea is you run the line right into the tank. So all I did was flip it around, bought a brass connector, brazed it into, drilled this out a little bit, brazed it in, it's a half inch JIC brass connector, or not JIC, SAE, so it's a 45 degree flare. And then I flared my copper piping. This is a soft copper pipe. It's really nice to bend, but I still got one of these spring tools for bending, just in case, to prevent kinks. So I ran this in to the cooler. Runs through this nice cooler, which we had to make brackets for. There's one on each side. And it's just held on with these vinyl hose clamps. I'm thinking about adding another one to the bottom, just so I don't fatigue this up here. But then that runs from the cooler into the tank. Um, and I was like, well, you know what? I ran it for a little bit and was like, man, I really need something, some sort of fan. But I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So I had a couple of these cheap fans and uh, zip tied it on and actually wired it into the switch so that when the motor runs, the fan runs. And it's super quiet. And so yeah, that's about it the air compressor build, and the phone test.